I'm joined now at Tim Hortons Field by Tristan Borges of Forge FC as these guys prepare to go into the CPL postseason for the fourth yeah. season, I guess uh, we would say. Let's just maybe start there. You've been here, you know, you obviously <laughs> missed one, but uh, you've been around this club since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, what has it meant to you guys to kind of be so consistently at the top of this league, so consistently competing for the championship? Uh, I think obviously it goes to show the mentality and you know the quality that we have players coaches you know just I think as a club in general um, I think after having that championship first year it kind of just set in stone what the what the expectations every single year is uh, for us as a club and you know I think obviously a lot of the credit goes to how Bobby's been doing it every single year um, there hasn't been I would say so so much change with with uh, with roster but you know uh, to to keep doing it every single year, it's 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 obviously you know something to be proud of. But for me, it's just, it's only one goal, and it's to win everything. You know, last year, again on this on this pitch, mm -hmm. you guys lost that shield for the first time. Uh, how much has it driven you, fueled you guys this year to get back to that stage and to take it back? Um, I think, to be honest, in my in my personal opinion, I think that's something, you know, the fuel that you get from that is more where you take right after, you know, to get you to bounce back. But I think once you enter the enter the season, you got to just understand that it's a new season. You know, even though you have the same goals, you can't really reminisce about it too much. Yeah. You got to understand that things happen. And obviously, you know, if we really sit down and talk about it, um, you know, it's bitter when you when you think about it, especially the season that we had a lot of obstacles we had to overcome and how well we were playing. Yeah. But for us, we know it's a it's a new season. You know, uh, we've gone through it all already again this year and we're back where we want to be. So, you know, for us, it's just having that experience that, you know, there's there's always going to be another chance. Right. And, you know, I, I know a lot of the guys in the locker room remember how that feeling was um, that after that game. And it's not really a feeling you want to you want to feel again. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, we definitely have enough quality to bounce back from that. But for us, it's. For us, it was a new season once we started, and we knew the, the, the goals that we had for ourselves, and you know, we're, we're, we're one step closer. Do you have like a favorite Bobby moment or story that kind of sticks out your time here? <sighs> oh. To be honest with you, I, I don't know if there's a fav favorite moment or favorite story. For me, I'm just very curious of when that beard will eventually, <laughs> will eventually leave. I think yeah. a lot of the players are thinking that as well, but uh, oh, no, individual memory is tough, it's tough. Yeah, that, I think that beard showed up in 2020, and he's like, if, if my wife lets me keep it, it yeah. stays. It might be and one it, of those. It hasn't gone yet. Yeah. All right, anyway, Tristan, I can't thank you enough thank for you doing this. Thank you very much. Eh? Appreciate thank it. Thank you.